in previous videos we have discussed what is indexes and uh, the negative indexes the zero indexes the fractional indexes and in this video we are going to continue with law of indexes product of two indexes number okay let's say we have an index numbers uh, 5 to the power of 3 and then so you multiply by another index number 5 to the power of 4 what is the answer so we call this the products of two indexes number okay now uh, in previous videos we have learned that um, 5 to the power of 3 is equal to 5 times 5 times 5 3 times okay this is for the first one and then we multiply by 5 to the power of 4 uh, 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 okay and therefore in total uh, this is equal to 5 to the power of 7 and then from here we learn that if we have uh, multiplications of two index numbers we can straight away sum up the index numbers okay for example uh, this is uh, 3 and 4 okay the sum of 3 and 4 is equal to 7 uh, let me give you another examples let's say we have x to the power of 6 times uh, x to the power of 13 okay so we can straight away tell that this is equal to x 6 plus 13 which is equal to x to the power of 19 okay uh, another example let's say we have p to the power of 1 over 3 multiply by uh, p to the power of uh, 1 over 2 okay so straight away we can tell that this is equal to p to the power of the sum of 1 over 3 plus 1 over 2 and then um, this is equal to p to the power of 2 over 6 plus 3 over 6 eh? this is equal to p to the power of 5 over 6 okay so this is how we find the products of two indexes number let's see this example simplify the following okay let's start with a yeah? a uh, 3 to the power of 7 times 3 to the power of 5 times 3 yeah? okay so this will be equal to 3 to the power of 7 plus 5 plus 1 okay when the index is not written then uh, it means it's 1 okay so this is equal to 3 to the power of 13 b uh, a to the power of 6 times a yeah? So a to the power of 6 times a is equal to a to the power of 6 plus, this should be 1, eh? 1, and therefore is equal to a to the power of 7. C, 3a7 times 5a5. Okay, now in algebra, you have learned that when we have coefficients uh, like 3 and 5 okay we should multiply the coefficient first 3 times 5 equal to 15 and as we have a to the power of 7 now a times a to the power of 7 times a to the power of 5 is equal to a to the power of 7 plus 5 okay and uh, this is equal to 15 a to the power of 13 oh, sorry 12 a to the power of 12 okay d we have 2 p to the power of 7 times 3 q to the power of 5 times 4 p to the power of 5 okay now we have two unknown here p and q and uh, in algebra we learned that if we have two unknowns then we group uh we group the same unknowns together Okay, and as, uh, and again, eh, we have we have the coefficients here. We can uh, we can find the answer for the multiplications of the coefficient first. Eh? So two times three, uh, six six times four twenty four. Eh? Straight away we can write that. 
uh, this is equal to 24 okay and then we group the p terms here okay we have p7 okay p7 and we have a sorry p to the power of 7 and then we have this a p to the power of 5 and we know that okay this will be equal to 7 plus 5 and as we have q here and uh, q is to the power of 5 okay so therefore this is equal to 24 7 plus 5 equal to 12 so we have p to the power of 12 and then so we have q to the power of 5 okay um last one e 5p7 times 2q5 times 3p5 times 7p5 so again um we will try to solve the coefficient first uh, okay 5 times 2 we go to 10 and uh, 3 times 7 to 21 21 times 10 is 210 210 and then we have this p uh we have p here here and here okay so this will be equal to 7 plus 5 plus 5 to the power of 7 plus 5 plus 5 and then we have a q5 q to the power of 5 so this is equal to 210 p to the power of 17 and q to the power of 5 okay so um so this is how we solve a problem by using uh the law to find the products of two indexes number